Good, happy Sunday morning, July 26, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King News Network. Let's get started now. First up, Ron Paul visits five New Hampshire counties. Another GOP presidential hopeful, Kentucky Senator Ron Paul, was in the Granite State Saturday. Paul visited several towns in his campaign swing through five counties in two days. He visited Warren, West Lebanon, Littleton, and the North Haverhill Fair before ending the day in Tilton at a house party. Police continue to search for inmates missing from transition facility. Police are searching for two inmates who didn't return to the to a transition house in Manchester. Friday. Charles Newman, 43, and Bruno Martin, 41, left the Clement House for work this week, did, but didn't return. The two men were serving the last part of their prison sentence at the facility. Graham Stumps in the Granite State Saturday reacts to Trump. Presidential candidate Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican South Carolina, made several stops in the northern part of New Hampshire Saturday. Owner of gunpowder plant seeks new trial. The owner of a gunpowder plant convicted in an explosion that left two workers dead could soon walk free after a home invasion left key witnesses against him dead. Veterans and celebrities stepped up to the plate for Wounded Warrior Project. It was a horrific win at Northeast Delta Dental Stadium for the Wounded Warriors. The New Hampshire Fisher Cats hosted a charity softball game Saturday to benefit the Wounded Warriors Project. Governor Hassan join governors across the country at summer meeting. <coughs> Governor Maggie Hassan is joining her counterparts from across the nation in West Virginia this weekend for a gathering of the National Governor Association. Woman charged with DWI after hooks at crash. A 28-year-old Manchester woman is accused of driving while intoxicated and crashing into two cars Friday on Interstate 93 in hooks at police said. Thunderstorms leaves home Vehicles damaged. A storm passed through Manchester, damaging homes and pushing over trees Friday. Man arrested on suspicious of selling drugs out of pizza shop. Police said they believe Kurt Dillon was selling 
illegal drugs out of his pizza shop in Concord, New Hampshire. Man accused of threatening to kill driver with knife in Manchester. A Manchester man is facing charges after police said he pulled a knife on another driver in a road rage incident. Teen girl bomber kills 20 in Cameroon. A teenager girl with a bomb killed at least 20 people and herself and injured dozens Saturday in the town of Marua, Cameroon, near the Nigeria border, according to residents and a military officer. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King News Network. Have a great day. Sunday, everyone. Goodbye. See you later.